Right, well, I'm just being, uh, well, first of all, welcome to the channel. If it's first time you're seeing me, my name's English Woodsman. I do a lot of wild camping, hammocks, tents, and all sorts of outdoor sleeping setups and stuff. Plenty of videos to watch if you want to see them. Uh, you might be able to tell I'm not far off hitting the great 100,000 subscriber mark. I think I'm on 97. I was hoping to get there by the end of this year, but it don't look very too promising I'll do it. Even though I only need about 2,100 more. But you know what? We'll get there when we do. Now, this little video is about YouTube because with YouTube having the problem with TikTok competitive towards them now, They've got the Instagram shorts, they've got Facebook shorts. So YouTube at the moment have a lot of people challenging them for the money, what obviously is made online, you know, ads and stuff. And us people that do YouTube, like I do try to get a video every week, sometimes twice a week if possible. And because YouTube now are sort of like really having to fight for the market, They've seemed like they're cutting down on a lot of stuff what you can and can't do with your videos, with your thumbnails, with your titles and stuff. And YouTube are same copying TikTok in some ways. Now, when you do a live stream, if you do it straight up like TikTok sort of style, uh, you know, if your phone's like that, then what they'll do is people can buy you. Uh, they buy themselves like loads of gifts like rubies and stuff like that and you can start saying I want to send 20 to him 20 to him, 20 to them so they're copying you, uh, TikTok with all that sort of stuff but I've had a message, now I were out all day yesterday and I've just got back today from doing a, a, a bit of a different wild camp so I should have that video uploaded probably Monday evening maybe something like that and uh, I've only just seen the phone and I talked to a lady from YouTube called Annie. She's like, if I have any issues, I just go straight to her and she sorts them out for me. She tells me what I need to do and stuff. And uh, she sent me an email saying, the thumbnail for this video, it breaches the YouTube's rules. Now, can you see it? Let me just see if I can adjust the phone here. No, we're not getting much, are we? I was trying to adjust it. Anyway, that is me out in snow having a fire pot meal. Let me just see if I can adjust that again now. A bit bright light now. <laughs> wow, whoa, there we go. That might be a bit better now. That. No, in. Yeah, and I'm having the fire pot meal. Now, in the video, that's all right. There's no issues with it. The thumbnail has become the issue because... As you can see, I'm not holding that, the bowl and the fire pot meal there, am I? What I'm doing with that is, I've got the fire pot logo itself from the website and I screenshotted it and I thought it'd be a lot better, you know, you can see what it is, it says Christmas dinner, all the trimmings and everything, so I thought it'd be a cracking idea. Let me just sort this out again, because it gets annoying. That's a bit better, doesn't it? Yeah, and I just thought, I'm going to make it clear as day for my viewers. They can see it's a fire pot meal. You can see the little Christmas meal at the side of it. There, that's a bit better, isn't it? Like that. Yeah, there you go. You can see there's the pot with the meal inside it. And you can see the bag, the name, what meal it is there by the brand here as well. And you can see it's me. It's snowing. And there's my hot tent. And that breached YouTube rights on thumbnails. Because... What it is, is that picture is somebody else's. Now, I should have known this. I've done many of thumbnails in the past. Actually, thousands. And I should have known that wouldn't have, got, that wouldn't have uh, gone through all right. Now, it's been on about a week. And like I said, it was Friday when it got sent to me. So, the email. So, yeah, that is how YouTube's getting you cannot screenshot or take a picture of somebody else's picture for their copyrightness and put it on your thumbnails. This is something we're all going to have to start watching out for. It really is. And I think YouTube are going to start really clenching the straws of us, you know, making it like we have to be bang on. And if we're not bang on, we could lose things. Now, thank God it ain't a copyright claim because 
things got sorted out from their side of stuff. Uh, I'm going to contact Firepot myself and ask them are they happy, you know, with what I did on that. Is there any issues with that? And if they say there's no issues and are happy for me to keep the thumbnail like that, then I just forward that email to YouTube and then YouTube then will just leave it as it is. If Firepot Meal said, no, actually, I don't like that, that is our picture, that needs to change, then I have to change the thumbnail picture. And that's something I'm going to have to do. Other thumbnail pictures, what I've done previously, I don't know if I've got them on this phone. What I'm saying is, where will it end with YouTube, with the rules? Just say if you're sitting in your tent one day and... and and you're having a Mars bar or something, are they going to actually seriously say, oh, you showed that Mars bar name, that's, you know, your video revenue goes to them now because you showed Mars bar? Where are they going to get to where the point is where it's stupid before they start putting people off making videos and content and dealing with all the aggro every time they do something? Is it like brand logos, OEX? Is that, is it eventually, is it going to be where you're covering them over? Because you're advertising summer on your video through their brand. Where will it stop? And will it stop is the question, isn't it? You know, already one time you could go outside, you could film in public, and it were okay. And then a point came with YouTube where they said, oh, you can no longer film in public like this because it's other people's rights, you know, not to be on camera. And then what they did then is they said, well, you can do it, but brief so like you know oh this is a shop here or yeah this is a shop there so it's brief you know you're not getting but and then people were still complaining because they're seeing them on the videos and then youtube said well you can't do that and then there was the copyright with music as well you know if music's playing so long in the video it's class as fair usage up to a, up to a length but and then if you go so far over, then the revenue in that video goes to that music creator who designed, uh, who, who developed that song, let's say. But what about the creator who made that music, in, uh, made the video? Does he not get revenue? Does he not get all out of his video just because there's a song in the background playing? You see what I mean? I don't know how far YouTube want to go with this. I don't know where the limits are before people are saying, we're just gonna to go to TikTok. You know, TikTok, I hear people playing normal music, songs, Mariah Kelly, Mariah, Mariah Kelly, in the kitchens, live. And I don't think there's any copyright claims against them. You know, if we did that with YouTube, they'd be on us. And like I say, I don't wanna give my channel up. I'm nearly at the big 100,000 what I've been wanting to be for a few years. But I think the way they're doing this it's going to start putting a lot of people off. I really do. I think it's just going to start making people go, well, what's the point? Myself, for my thumbnail picture, I do get that. I'm not stupid. I do get but the thumbnail picture is a screenshot. Maybe it shouldn't have been done like that. I understand that. <laughs> but where's it, going to, where's it going to end? That's what I'm asking. Where the hell is it going to end? with YouTube, where, where, where can you do something and the not say, oh, you can't do that because of this, or you can't do that because of this. I've been striked once because, uh, not long ago either, showing too much steak cooking on the video. That is the worst one I've ever come across. And what I had to do there is I had to take a load of uh, screenshot videos of chefs and sent a load of, uh, load of screenshots to this Annie woman. On, uh, on YouTube, I said, well, how come Jamie Oliver can do this, Gordon Ramsay and all these chefs, how can they overshow steak? Mm -hmm. And because that's their, that's their niche on their channels, I think that's what we're on about, mm -hmm. and it's their business and stuff, that, that's how it's all right for them. So is it saying, but because I don't own the fire pot meal, we'd be wrong to do that. That is what I'm getting at. Where do we think it's gonna end? Please do comment below. Please let me know. Do you think they try to get stricter because they're worrying about where the chan the, the YouTube is going to be going in the long run? It just the the thing why I'm coming here as well is because my other channel what I've just done the other uh, my other video what I've just done what I'm processing there's stuff on there and I clearly show it all. 
And now I'm thinking, am I going to have to go back and re-edit that? That's what I'm thinking. Are we going to have to get that clever with editing where we can't show anything? Can't show any music, any 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 names, any other people's faces. What are we coming to? And that's the thing what I'm, I'm struggling with YouTube to understand these days. I don't know if everybody else is, but if you are, you know, you can please comment below and let me know. But I'm going to get off because I need to uh, crack on editing this video and get it on. Like I say, I am on the hunt for the 100,000 this year. Well, by the end of 2024, if it happens, it happens. Hopefully, we should get it in January time. But we can only cross his fingers and hope for the best. So, there's my question. Where is all this going to end in what you do on YouTube? It's, it's just becoming a drain every time. Every, and it's not just me, it's other people as well what I've been talking to. You know what? Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it.